thank you, Bishop Taylor, for your prayer and Zeb for your remarks. And thank you for joining us for the beginning of this national convention. Two years ago, current ASP treasurer Taichi Kuo texted me two simple words. We won. We had each won seats on the national committee for two years. And at the end of those two years, it is my pleasure to tell you about the state of the party. We currently have a little over 800 members of the American Solidarity Party. That is a little bit more than double what we had in 2018. But voting membership isn't the best mark of engagement. Most people don't wanna know about the internal business of the party or make decisions in meetings. People want to know that they're on the right team. To this end, we have almost 12,000 followers on Facebook. And I hope to get to 20,000 by November. We have over 5,000 followers on Twitter. Over 4,000 people are subscribed to our newsletter. With regards to fundraising, both the frequency and amount of donations is increasing. We have raised a good deal of money, and most of that will be spent on advertising and ballot access for this election. But in my opinion, the greatest thing that's happening in the ASP is we are recreating our culture. We are moving away from discussion and moving towards action. COVID-19 has taught me a lesson that I hope to pass on to all ASP leaders and general membership. It's fun to talk to people who have found their political home. I mean, really talk, like over the phone or in a video conference, where you can see people's facial reactions, feel their emotion, and sense that they are truly happy for being in the American Solidarity Party. I've spoken to more members in two months than I did in two years, and it has been glorious. With every additional personal contact I have made, I have become bolder at making the next one. When someone emails me a concern, my first response has now become, when can I call you? My greatest regret with my time on the National Committee is not making more personal contacts. I urge every ASP member to take five or 10 minutes of your day, every day, to talk to somebody in your state. This weekend, elected ASP delegates from around the country will chat online to direct the course of the party for the next year. They will elect new members of the National Committee and make other decisions on behalf of their constituents. This process mirrors what other political parties in the United States do. It is my sincere hope that this system will inspire people to get more involved locally so that they can either be leaders to the national convention or choose good leaders for that convention. Please join us throughout the weekend for our many scheduled events. We will be premiering videos on YouTube and also live streaming things through Facebook on our main page. This will be the real beginning of the presidential campaign. In my final act as American Solidarity Party National Committee Chair, I officially declare this convention open. Thank you.